So welcome guys to another episode on questionnaire designing with service duo and you're with me, Mavin Kadzoa. So in this episode, all you need to have uh, is internet, an email account, and a computer. So we'll learn how to uh, start a basic questionnaire. So there are two ways of how you can uh, use to design a questionnaire. It's either you use service to a platform or you use external platforms by using the spreadsheet and this is offline. While the other one, the first one is online. So um, we'll look into the survey CDO uh, the online platform. So with the service to online platform, which looks like this, uh, you can either develop your questionnaire using the sample uh, forms that are already in the server or you can start from the scratch. So the other way is this one, the, the offline one, the one that you use the spreadsheet, like Excel spreadsheet. So you can use the Excel spreadsheet to design your questionnaire. All right, so uh, let's get started with the um, uh, online questionnaire designing. So all you need is to come on uh, any you know, search engine. I prefer using Google uh, or Google Chrome because it's a bit fast. So you just need to come and write service it all and then it will give you a, a link where you're supposed to log in if you already have an account. If you don't have, you need to sign up. And then um, uh, with the signing up, it's where, it's where you punch in your account, uh, email account and then it asks you to provide a server name. So on the server name, once you put a server name, you will not be able to change. Otherwise, the rest of the stuff you can change. But since I already have an account, I'll go ahead and log in. All right, I think I already logged in. So um, if uh, your service tool uh, logs in, it's gonna look like this. So there's design, correct, monitor, export, and configure. So uh, with questionnaire designing, we we'll focus on the first part, the design. So if you scroll down, okay. So these are uh, these are uh, you know they are the, uh, the 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 questionnaires that are a bit developing. So so we'll go ahead and then hit on this plus. So with this plus, when you uh, click that plus, it's gonna tell you do you want to uh start a new form. So you say yes. Now. Uh, the first thing it will uh, ask you to uh, provide a form title. So I'll say yeah, my form title should be uh, learning. It's a simple one, learning. All right. So and then it creates a form ID. This form ID is unique because each uh, uh, questionnaire form will have a unique form ID. Now here it's asking. Uh, to use a sample form as your starting point and then you either include the email identification field we'll talk about this and then the other stuff later but then let's click on now when you click on it's going to tell you uh, the number of uh, sample forms that are already there so the one is basic common elements in a form then the including of the language randomization the image Add to here auditing including text and order audio text so um, but then i will not choose any because you know they're, they're, they're basic so i'll go ahead and say next so uh, and then i'll go edit online so let's wait till it loads so with this one you need always to be connected to the internet let's see so uh, let me cancel this part Yes, so there we go. So, um, you should be able to have this part uh, of form design where by uh, the first side is uh, the the left side is design, then the right side is text. All right, let's wait till it's fully loaded. Let's wait till it's fully loaded. So, uh, once this page is uh, fully open. That's where you start programming. So let me quickly take you through the course of programming. Uh, it's quite interesting because this one doesn't really need you to have the magic of learning uh, the, the commands, the inequalities, whatever. With, with uh, this drag and drop option, all you need is to know a few things. 
uh, of let's say skip logics and all that. So, uh, looking at your questionnaire, mm -hmm. uh, let's assume it's in the um, word format or it's uh, on a paper. All you need to uh, uh, do is now to just translate what you're seeing into um, a questionnaire uh, in, in the service you do. So you come here and add a field. So when you're adding a field, there are different fields that you can add, you know? So, but essentially here, it's you now punching in what you want uh, your, your, your questionnaire to contain. So I want to say a question. So the first question should be, what is your name? So what is your name? Okay, so what is your name? Ah, uh, say what is your name? Okay, good. So since a person will be uh, required, if this now is, is someone is answering, uh, yeah, so someone will be required to punch in uh, text. So all you need to come is to select, okay, this type of question will be a text. So, and then you say configure, right? And then, um, it's gonna tell you the type of the question, the label, and then the, the name, the name of the question. So I want this one to be Q1. And then I save, okay. And then the question will appear. Now, I want the second question to be, uh, how old, uh, how old are you? All right, so how old are you? Right, so this, this question will prompt someone to enter a number. So looking at this option that I have, I'll, I'll, I'll allow an int, all right? So I'll configure, and then I want the type to change, to say int, and then I want this one to be Q2, then I'll save it. All right, so and then um, I want to add another one. Um, so this one will be uh, which, uh, city do you stay? So which city uh, do you stay? Okay, uh, okay, stay. So I want to punch in. Uh, okay, so someone should should be able to select. Uh, let's say cities. So in Malawi, you have uh three, if not four, non cities. So we'll go for a select one question. So select one question will actually allow a. Uh, a respondent to only choose one answer. If it was uh, select multiple, this person could choose Zomba uh, or Lilongwe, Blanta, and Nzuzu. But uh, this the this question, I want uh, this person just to choose one answer. So I'll go select one and then configure. So, so this one is a bit now different from the other. So this one will require me to um, enter a choice list. So with the choice list, all you need to have is the title for your choice list. So I'll say cities, uh, cities, and then I will now start. Okay, what's my face today? I say Lilongwe, and then uh, Lilongwe, okay. And then, okay, so on the value, so this is uh, the value that you want to store Lilongwe into. So, I'll just choose one. I'll explain later the use of uh, this value and then I'll save this choice. And then I'll, I need to add another one, which is let's say a planter. Okay, planter. Uh, planter. Okay, and then I'll choose two. Okay, two. And then I'll, I'll save it. And then I'll say Zuzu. All right. Then I'll choose. Uh, three. I'm not quite sure if Zomba is a city, but still I'll add it. So Zomba city. Uh, okay. So and then Seth, and then uh the name again. So this one will be my Q three, right? So that's question number three. And then I'll uh. So okay. So once you've uh coded all your questions whatever questions, how many you, you had, all you need to, uh, to do is to come here and then you, you need to save and deploy. So if you sa just save as a draft, this this question won't be deployed, but you need to save and deploy. So later, uh, so you see, you are saving. So your kind of service will subscription. Okay, all right. So, okay, let me do this magic here. Uh, 
Okay, uh, right. Let me delete this one because it's already uh, deleted. And so, all right. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I have to delete one. Um, continue in my okay. Delete the phone. Just deleting. Good. Just deleting. Good. 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 Okay. So let me save this in. Let's save this in. Let me save this one. Good. So I save it. All right. So, um. We have two. We have, three, we have three questions now. So I want to start to see how these questions will look like in a tablet or uh, let's say when you open them in a computer. So all you need to do is to come here and click uh, or drag to text. So it will you know it will load the question here now. So the titles they are learning. So if you hit click, it should be able to give you the the questions. What is your name? All right, Melvin Kazua. Okay, okay, Melvin. One. Oh, then I should hit next so for, for the other question. Then I'll let I'm, I'm 90. All right, so and then uh, where do you stay? Now you see the cities are coming, so I'll say I stay in Zomba. And then boom, you should be able to list the end. So this is how you essentially uh, do your questions and design your questionnaire. You may have, of course, complex questions that require your logic and all that, but in the next videos we'll be able to cover them uh so uh let me know if you have any question or comment uh, in the section uh below and please like and subscribe uh subscribe my channel for more videos thank you for watching